Greetings, Lucha lovers. Hutch Henry's here, and the world has gone mad. But at least Demand Lucha is finally back. It has been two long years since our massive Lucha Vacation event with Speedball Mike Bailey with Puma King. This was one of our biggest events ever, and then we were all slammed with COVID-19. Our Lucha Palooza event with Ray Horace and Dan Housen, canceled. Our Lucha Block Party event with Effie, canceled. And although we were still on the scene with our wonderful trading cards and live streaming our events on Twitch with fresh commentary and viewpoints, there is nothing like actual live wrestling. And now that we've opened up, our friends over at Taco Fest gave us three days to put together an event for you. And I think we've done a pretty good job. Lucha lives. The man Lucha is back at Taco Fest. A hell of an opening match. And then we got right into some serious action. Evan Greenaway and Tyler Arrow, two guys who have been on the scene for a while, both debuting here at the Man Lucha. Let's go take a look at that match. Collar and elbow tie up center of the ring. Hutch Henry's here in the commentation station. Been a long time since I have done this. Evan Greenaway here in the black and gray, taking on Tyler Arrow. I've seen Evan before once in Ontario wrestling. This is my first time seeing Tyler Arrow. Taco Fest seeing the debut of both of these guys here at Demand Lucha. Now shoulder block, the bigger man Greenaway goes down. Arrow had it scouted. <laughs> and Greenaway getting away to the outside. Taking a bit of a breather. The man Lucha taking a two year breather. What with the lockdowns and the pandemic, we are very glad to be back. Only three days given to us by Taco Fest to put together this little event for you. But coming up very soon, our first official event back the kickoff of our Topes and Tequila Tour. Lucha de los Muertos, our signature event, coming to the Forge Martial Arts Fitness in Mississauga. That's gonna be absolutely awesome. Speedball, Mike Bailey, and Arrow Boy on that card, so we are gonna be looking forward to that. And uh, Tyler Arrow looking like he's looking forward to getting this match started. Evan Greenaway certainly taking his time here. Picks the leg, arrow down. Kip up from arrow though, he was just waiting. Leech frog of his own. Wow, single leg drop kick and right on target there for the young man. Big forearm in the corner. Float over from Greenaway, eats an elbow. And a nice jump up Rana there from Tyler Arrow. Greenaway back up quick. Arrow's got him. Quesadora in the corner. And look at that. Into an arm drag. Some interesting stuff there from Arrow. Greenaway bailing to the outside once again. Arrow telling the ref, go count him out, bud. Big crowd throughout the day here at Taco Fest. We've got matches at two different points throughout the day, but I think five, six hundred people gonna be, whoa! Five, six hundred people going to be coming through here throughout the entire course of the day. Decent amount of people here to check out these early matches from the Man Lucha. Greenaway eating a few forearms back in the ring. Wow, a nice second rope moonsault there from Arrow, just floating right over. Only a two count though. <laughs> Greenaway eating another forearm. Bit of a slow paced match, heard about both of them. Like I said, seen Evan Greenaway once. Heard some good things about Tyler Arrow. Nice rollover, attempted super kick. And look at how Greenaway's tied him up. 
two count there, and right into the suplex position. Nice suplex down to the canvas. Greenaway showing his frustration here. Nice jumping knee. I like this Greenaway kid. Slowing down the match. Getting in and out of the ring, making sure he keeps control against Tyler Arrow, who seems to be very capable in the ring. I'm sure these two are familiar with each other, working the undercards all over Ontario for the last few years. Wow, big elbow smash there. Referee doing his due diligence, checking the shoulder. Greenaway not too pleased. And Tyler Arrow certainly feeling that elbow. That was a huge elbow smash. Arrow with the forearm. Nice soul butt kick off the ropes. Whoa! Wow, boots straight to the face and a nice falling neck breaker. Little too much showboating there. Could have had it. That's the kind of stuff these young guys trying to get these people into the crowd. These are not traditional wrestling fans. They're here for Taco Fest. Sure, they love Lucha Libre, but trying to spend your time to get these people into the match is not what you should be doing, kid. Oh, nice standing moonsault and right into the knees. Greenaway saw it coming a mile away. And that's what you get for showboat a little too much trying to get the fans into it. Greenaway gonna keep this thing slow at his pace, like I was saying earlier. Wow, nice back body drop, falling straight down, flush. Arrow felt that through his entire body, center of the ring, and it looks like Evan Greenaway has something in mind going up top here. Arrow up quick though, probably quicker than Greenaway was expecting. He's getting caught in the corner, and what's this young kid got in mind? Filling him with a few forearms, and Greenaway hits him right back. Wow, Kurt Angle style, belly to belly off the top rope. Greenaway certainly feeling that. And Tyler Arrow getting a chance to recover here. Two. Referee starting the count. Three. Arrow once again trying to get these fans behind him. men finally to their feet. Greenaway turning around, right into another forearm. Wow, open-handed overhand chop. And it looks like we're gonna have a chop battle here, folks. Greenaway obviously a little more body weight, but who knows who's got the stronger chop. Greenaway feeling that one, even with the T-shirt on. Tyler Rero down to one knee. And getting up as fast as possible. You don't want to be down there when you're eating forearms. Wow, nice exchange. European uppercut and a forearm from Evan Greenaway. What's he got in mind here? Opposite side. Oh, and eats a calf kick. D'Lo Brown styles there. Another flying forearm in the corner from Tyler Arrow. Getting some momentum here. Greenaway with the reversal. Doesn't seem to be able to follow up. Arrow. Quickly out like a cat, and a nice Gamangiri right to the face. What's he got in mind here? Tyler Arrow jumping in, and uh, okay. Wow! Oh! Look at the rotation there. Looks like his knee smashed down right on the shoulder of Evan Greenaway. Yeah, look at him clutching his shoulder here. One, two, and two count only for Tyler Arrow. A little bit of a surprise look on his face. I think he was expecting more there. Probably should have tried to follow up with the cover a little faster. It's those little things here with Tyler Arrow that are missing. I think this kid's gonna have a great career if he can stay healthy and get some good mentorship moving forward. Going for a slice bread in the corner. Shiranu over fireman's carry position. Greenaway, what's he gonna do? No, Arrow out. Wow, digging in with the power slam. That was fabulous. Greenaway, seriously disappointed here. Oh, wow. 
And now stalking Tyler Arrow. Looks like he was trying for a fisherman suplex. Not getting it and going back again. Tyler Arrow slipping out though in behind. Oh wow, and eating a super kick. Side of the head. And sliding Lariat. Channeling a little Tomohiro Ishii there. And a two count only for Greenaway. Eat him. Eat him, eat him, do whatever you want, kid. Just get on him. Now is the time. It's a very hot day here in London, Ontario, and I think the midday heat is taking it out of these guys. Both of them very sluggish in the ring, in my opinion. Now Arrow escaping again. This kid has escaped from a lot of the big power maneuvers Greenway has tried to put together in this match. There he goes, Shiranu, second time, whoa! Wow! And it's over! And it's your winner, Tyler Arrow! Great showing here for the debut of both of these guys. Tyler Arrow victorious over Evan Greenaway. I hope to see both of these young guys here back at Demand Lucha again as soon as possible. Great match there. Congratulations to Tyler Arrow. But for this event, Taco Fest, we had another tag team match on the bill. And every time Tyson Dukes has been here at Demand Lucha, he has been flanked by the world's largest luchador, El Cranio. And he was staying loyal to the Dukes family as he teamed up with Tyson's son, Ethan Dukes. And the duo was extremely dominant in our tag team offering for the day. But let's get to our main event. Tyson Dukes, a former Premier Champion in his own right, defeating Paul London and Brett Banks to become champion. Carter Mason, though, flying the flag of Demand Lucha the entire time that we have been off during the pandemic. A long and storied rivalry between the two. They have fought at a Demand Lucha event in the past. Vampiro's underground invasion in what I consider to be one of the greatest matches in company history. And Vampiro had a lot of great things to say about these guys after the match. Yo, yo. I, I, I would like to know if I could have the honor of having a picture with you two because I have never yes! seen a match like that in my life. Now here we are back again in the ring with these two guys, Tyson Dukes, Carter Mason, our main event here at Taco Fest 2021. Lucha lives, the man Lucha is back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. It is for the Demand Lucha Championship. Introducing first the challenger from London, Ontario, Tyson Dukes. Now introducing the champion. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, he is the Demand Lucha Heavyweight Champion. Give it up for King of the North, Carter Mason. Here we go, main event action at Taco Fest. Tyson Dukes versus Carter Mason. Collar and elbow tie up center of the ring. <laughs> we got a squeaky ring here for the main event. These two guys, long storied rivalry all over Ontario. They started as friends, but Tyson Dukes has had a lot of attitude over the last few years. Becoming more grizzled, almost more jaded it seems. And Carter Mason, he takes no crap from anybody. 
The fresh-faced young lad we saw at our first shows has turned into the toughest, hardest-working, and perhaps most dominant champion in company history, Triumph and Tragedy. The story of Carter Mason at Demand Lucha is one hell of a tale, let me tell you, folks. Into the corner here, headlock. Don't want to be in a headlock from Tyson Dukes. Gonna pop your head off like a dandelion. Clean break there from Mason. Proudly holding the title throughout the entire pandemic and ready to go at the drop of a hat here and against a hell of a competitor in Tyson Dukes. Dukes trying to get out, down to the canvas. And Mason just wrenching on that hammerlock. And again, referee Brian Renda checking it there, making sure Tyson isn't gonna submit, but you're not gonna get a submission from Tyson Dukes off a of hammerlock, let me tell you, grounded or not. There we go, slipping out, Mason in behind as well. Losing the hammerlock, but right into the headlock. Gonna be tough to hold that for the shorter man. Turn around, snap mare, getting him right where he wants. Quick lateral press, letting Tyson know that he is razor focused on the victory. Some jaw jacking between these two guys. Like I said, they've known each other a long time. Long storied rivalry. Only one match here at Demand Lucha. Tyson Dukes defended the Smash Wrestling Championship at Vampiro's Underground Evasion against Carter Mason. And one hell of a matchup that was, let me tell you. Dukes here with the overhead and wrist lock. And now he's the one to ground his opponent. Look at the pain etched on the face of Carter Mason. Wow, Tyson powered him down and the smaller man Mason far more nimble, very athletic, rolling right through and back to that very familiar hammerlock. I'm sure Tyson Dukes is pretty frustrated right now. Up to his feet, gonna relieve some of that pressure. Centering him in the ring, coming around, headlock. Switches to his dominant arm and just squeezing down. Look at the pressure. Mason crumpling. And that's how you get cauliflowered ears, folks. Ask former two-time champion Josh Alexander all about that. To the far side, Mason out of the headlock. Nice deep Ricky Steamboat arm drag and just driving the shin bone into the face of Tyson Dukes. Tyson up now. Watch the hair. Mason wrenching. Oh, look at that. You can hear the pop. And Tyson, that very stoic demeanor was broken just for a second, a little, ah, you can hear from him there. Wow, Mason really working this arm, wrenching, pulling, smashing. Looks like he's found his target. And once again, quickly realizing he should go for the lateral press, make Tyson Dukes get back to his feet. You back up, let a guy lie on the canvas. A couple seconds is a lot of recovery time in a professional wrestling match. Get on top of him, force him to kick out, use that energy, and most likely get to his feet. Not gonna wanna lie in his back much longer. Mason still focused on the arm here. Tyson, what's he gonna do? Drop down, picking the leg, rolling over, and back to that headlock. No, and again, Mason slipping out. That was not a tap, folks. That was Tyson Dukes showing his frustration and trying to work through the pain here. It's a story of headlocks and hammerlocks so far in this match. But you're not gonna become premier champion with a headlock or a hammerlock. This is just the feeling out process, folks. Tyson rubbing with the shoulder, trying to find his spot, and there it is. A stinging elbow right to the side of Mason's ear. That's another way to cla cauliflower that ear very quickly, folks. Focusing on Carter Mason's head, side of the head, equilibrium, vertigo, gonna try and confuse this kid. Look at him, snapping him around, picking him up. And Mason, once again, slipping out and back to the arm. No longer the rookie versus the veteran. These guys are both in-ring veterans now. Mason again, ah, oh, again snapping that arm. Both of these guys looking to make sure that this match lasts well long into the weekend and that their opponent feels it a week from now. These two guys are not friends in any fashion, folks. 
And uniquely now, it's Mason with the top wrist lock. I would not call Carter Mason a submission specialist in any fashion, but he has been upping his game over the years. And of course, he employs that very effective roll through guillotine choke, just sits right on his opponents. Tyson driving Carter to the mat and trying to get some life back into that arm. Mason blocking, and Tyson eats the buckle. And again, opposite side. <laughs> and Carter Mason not getting the response he wanted, I believe there. We are in Tyson Duke's hometown here in London, Ontario. One of the main reasons we called Tyson was such short notice to get a main event. And both of these guys were very happy to get in there and start throwing hands. Carter Mason doing just that right now. Tyson now just muscling him over. Big windmill and more hands, open-handed chops. Mason gonna kick the crap out of him too now. Can't get in there. You wanna cover up? Here, eat a boot. Dragging him out, another lateral press. Mason rolling to the outside, gonna get a bit of a breather here. Mason, big chalk block right into the stomach. Gonna try and float over here, find out Carter. No, what's he doing now? Oh, wow. Absolutely vicious. Big, disrespectful kick right into the chops of Tyson Dukes. Mason again trying to get this crowd behind him and he's not getting the response that he wants. Oh, classic Mason with the slingshot double stomp. I think these guys having the same problem as some of our undercard matches. It is extremely hot out here and it is sapping the stamina out of these guys. A lot of them having not been in the ring for quite a while through this pandemic. Wow, I thought that was gonna be an uppercut, but just burying his fist right into the side of Tyson Dukes. Here we go. Big stinger style splash in the corner from Carter Mason. Reversal now from Tyson, and wow, with some stank on it. Body slam. Tyson Dukes, the consummate technician. Old school wrestler, ground and pound, body slams, headlocks. This guy will take you apart, and he is an Ontario legend, looking to get his hands once again on the premier championship here at Demand Lucha. Muscling Mason around. Here we go. And again with a body slam. Just what I was talking about, folks. Tyson Dukes will take you apart with a standard wrestling style. No flips, no fancy stuff, because daddy's here to kick your ass. Driving the knee right into the spine of Carter Mason. And two count only. And it's like Tyson Dukes is mugging you when he's in the ring there. Did you see the forearm right across the cheekbone and the face of Carter Mason during that pin attempt? Absolutely vicious, this guy. Double axe handle to the back and Mason crumples to the canvas. Tyson Dukes mocking the fans here. The hometown fans, though, that still seem to be uh, at least 50-50, a lot of them behind Tyson Dukes here. I mean, if you're a local wrestling fan in London, you have seen Dukes your entire life, I'm sure. And there we go, Mason, big forearm, and Dukes returns with a knife edge strike. Another forearm from Mason, and again from Tyson Dukes. Just lording over Carter Mason a kid who he used to train, a kid who was new on the scene long after Tyson Dukes was considered a local veteran. And the disdain that Dukes has for a man like Carter Mason is obvious on his face and in his wrestling style. Oh, man. Running elbow, digging in deep. Two count only there from Tyson Dukes. Referee checking on Mason. He's hurting, folks. Look at him. Oh man, 
Nice combination from Dukes. The knee to the spine, elbow to the top of the head. Deep pin cover with the leg hook there. And Mason out once again. And now Dukes misplaced frustration going after the referee. You're gonna have to work harder if you wanna beat the premier champion, Tyson Dukes. I don't know if that shoulder was all the way down, but unique pinning attempt there from Dukes. Just pretzel and Carter Mason. Oh, and stomping on the hand of the premier champ. And again, I think that was the opposite hand. He stomped on both of them now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Seeing the results of that, trying the chop and, Car and Tyson Dukes like a vulture, like a pit bull going right after it. Look at him contorting the arm. And now the torque around the ring rope. Dig it in with the chop. Wow, vicious backbreaker there. Floating right into the pin and forcing Carter Mason to use that very back that was just damaged to push himself and kick himself out of that. And look, still hurting the hands of Carter Mason. Dukes, slow and methodical. Stalking Mason, gonna make him use his own power to get to his feet, and as soon as he gets up, he's gonna chop him right back down. This is the game, folks, wear your opponent out, slow and steady, and then finally pin them. And Tyson Dukes is a master if there ever was one. WWE put Tyson in the opening round of the inaugural Cruiserweight Classic against Zack Sabre Jr. because they knew Tyson Dukes, ground and pound, could handle it. A oh, huge suplex from Tyson Dukes. And look at him flexing, he's feeling it now, fully in control. Like I was saying, they knew he could take it. Dukes, Sabre, hell of a match. And Dukes, Mason, hell of a match here too. Once again with the forearm across the face and Carter Mason kicks out. Again, chin lock with the knee dug right into the spine of Carter Mason, wearing him down some more folks covering the mouth, making it hard for him to breathe. Look at these guys covered in sweat, the heat here tonight in London, Ontario, and the damage that Carter Mason has taken. Now look at him, struggling, trying to get out up to his feet. Dig it in with the elbow. Third time, and the oh, Dukes. You wanna know what it feels like, kid? There you go. Muscling him back to the corner again. A huge overhead clubbing strike, look at that. Tyson Dukes, the perfect mixture of chaos and control. Just bludgeoning Carter Mason like a wild animal. Mason now, kip up, up and over. Oh, finally some offense, catches him flush with the super kick, and Dukes is down. Dukes is down, Mason, what's he going for? Tornado DDT, no. And a suit, second super kick, this time to the gut. And Mason's got a plan, here it is, roll through. This is what I was talking about, that vicious guillotine choke from the King of the North. Tyson Dukes is in serious trouble, folks. Mason gets a lot of very quick tap outs with this. People always usually roll out, try to escape immediately, or they pass out. Look how tough Tyson Dukes is. Big, huge neck muscles on this guy. Tyson gonna power up, oh my lord. Open-handed palm strikes to the side, right into the ribs of Carter Mason, releasing the grapevine up and over. Mason, oh, and a third super kick. This one right on the button. One, two, yo! Two count only, one hell of a shot there from Carter Mason. He got planned now, both men to their feet. Mason up and over, sunset flip. Two count only. Wow, running cross body, he was measuring that one. Mason keeping the pace, 
hot and heavy here. Super kick to the thigh. Look, that wrapped up thigh. Tyson Dukes grabbing it now. Oh, speaking of grabbing though, grabs the foot of the King of the North and just dumps him outside like a piece of trash. Gotta make that distance recover. Still holding that thigh. Going out after Mason now. Concrete, this person in the audience saying, drop him on the concrete. Hey, you wouldn't think looking at that guy that he was actually a sick, depraved, vicious bastard. I love it. Now out into the crowd. They're loving it, and face first. Face first onto that seat, that wooden seat there. Duke seems to have the same disdain for the fans as he does for his opponent, even though a lot of them seem to be behind him. That's the kind of guy Tyson Dukes is. Even if you like him, if you're nice to him, he's like, yeah, go screw yourself. Vicious chops here laid in from Tyson Dukes. Premier championship on the line here. Now just dragging him around through the audience by his head. Not into the trash can. No, blocking it, and Dukes into the trash can. Exactly where he belongs, Oscar the Grouch of wrestling here. Now both men getting back, Mason realizing he has to break the count. Oh, and he pays for it. Gotta be honest with you folks. Took his eye off the ball, off his opponent. And a second time, wow. Everybody knows about that apron. That is no fun. Two count once again. The toughness of the longest reigning by far premier champion in company history, Carter Mason, putting it all on the line here in his first match back for the company in two years, folks. Fight now. Mason doesn't want to go up and over onto that back again. Working his way through, here we go. Desperation, Carter Mason, two. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby! Carter Mason! And Dukes has pushed right through. New naked choke, Mason's tapping now, but I mean, he, he already won. Tyson Dukes not letting go here. Renda calling out the locker room. Very quick to respond. I mean, they were all standing there watching the match. Finally getting him off. Tyson Dukes, I don't know if he realizes they lost or if he's just pissed off, but obviously must know now with all these guys fighting him off to get back to Mason. Mason limp and going after the limp body of the premier champion. Tyson Dukes, this is disgusting. Get him off, get him out of here. It's over. You're damn right it is. Rolling out Tyson Duke, son of a bitch. And look at these fans cheering for that. Hometown boy or not, that's disgusting. The winner of the match, and still the man lucha heavyweight champion, the king of the north, Carter Mason. Both of these guys, certainly heavyweights on the scene, but it's the premier championship, and it still belongs to Carter Mason, eking out a victory here. Yeah, take out your mouthpiece. I have no idea what this guy is saying. Piece of garbage. Get him out of here. Carter Mason should be very proud of himself. Still premier champion, but I highly doubt this is the last we've heard or seen of this. Mason's gonna have something to say. What's that cliche, Tyson? Something like, you and me are destined to do this forever? And it's funny because uh, a veteran, an OG of this province taught me that it's not about a clean win, it's not about a dirty win, it's about getting the win. And I showed up today in your hometown and I got the win. Now, obviously you didn't like that. So, October 30th, I want you to come to my hometown. I want you to come to Toronto and we're gonna have a submission match, a rematch. For this belt. I know you're gonna accept, so I'm gonna see you there. Pillar to post, pillar to post. 
October 30th, I hear that you've challenged me. So you're not finished. You should be finished. You should quit while you're ahead. You got one, two, three. You pinned me. <laughs> but it didn't leave you in a real good spot, did it? You put yourself in a vulnerable position, which you always do. You're a little boy in a big man's game. And I'm the biggest dog around. And I just bit you again. And now you want me in my own element? You want to come back to this dead lucha show? All the luchadors are dead and the king shall follow. Because you're now in my area. And I'm not going to stop with your arm. I'm not going to stop with your ribs or your leg. I'm going to get right to the neck and I'm going to sink my dog like teeth into that neck. And when I am done with you, you will know that you were never the king, but you were a boy, and I will always be the man above you. Blah.